Do you have a website built using Google Sites, but you're not too sure how to create and add a contact form or booking form to your website? Well, if this sounds like you, you've come to the right place, you're not alone. This tutorial is designed for you. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now in this Google Sites tutorial, I'm excited to share how you can simply create and add a contact or booking form for free to your Google Site using Google Forms. Okay, so before we dive into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create a form to embed on your Google site. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside Google Sites. This is a website that we created earlier with Google Sites from a pre-made template for the purpose of a earlier tutorial. Now, if you're completely new with getting started with Google Sites, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the step-by-step -step process we took to build this website. Now, no matter what type of website that you want to create, you will benefit from watching this tutorial. Okay, so now let's dive into how to actually create and embed a form onto Google Sites. For the purpose of today's tutorial, what we're going to do is create a form for our contact page. And here we are on our contact page. As you can see, we have no form. Now to add a form, what we would do is simply navigate over to insert then simply navigate down the right hand side and locate forms down below. Now in order for us to add a form onto our Google site, what we need to do is actually create a new Google form. Basically Google Sites allows you to integrate other Google products into the website. One of those products is Google Forms. So over here you can see two forms that we've created earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a form. The best way to locate Google Forms is to head over to your Google Drive. Simply head over to drive.google.com and that's going to take you here. Make sure that you have the correct Google account, then simply navigate over to New, then navigate over to Google Forms, then simply go ahead and name your form, and then if you like, add a brief description. And remember, you can create a form for anything. This could be a contact form, it could be a booking form, reservations, whatever type of form you want to create on your Google site, you can do that with Google Forms. Then simply navigate over to this plus icon over on the right hand side, and then navigate over to multiple choice. This is the current question that we have selected. This is a type of question. However, you can choose short answer if you want your visitors to add a short answer or a paragraph. They can add multiple choice, a checkbox, drop down. You can get your visitors to upload files. And then we have more options down here. But what we're going to do is simply navigate up to short answer. And then we're simply going to add name. And then we can also navigate down here and choose if we want this question to be required. Visitors have to answer this question. For us, we're going to turn this on, which means our visitors have to enter their name in here. Now, what we can also do is come down and duplicate. And this time I'm going to add email. And again, I'm happy with short answer as the type of question. And for us, these are form fields. So these can either be questions or simply form fields. And again, we're going to keep required turned on. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this again. And this time I'm going to add phone number. And this time this form field is not required. And the last form field or question that I want to add is going to be a large text box. So if I click here, I'm going to navigate down to multiple choice and click paragraph. And then I'm going to come down to question and simply add message. And then I'm going to come down to this default question here. I'm going to click on it and then remove this question. And as you can see, I now have four 
questions, or in our case, these are four form fields. If the visitor on our website wants to get in touch with us, they need to add their name, email, and then if they like, they have the option to add their phone number and leave a message. And remember, you have the option to customize and add different form field or question types. Okay, so now what we wanna do is navigate up to responses and make sure that you have accepting responses on. This allows you to collect responses. Now you can also create a spreadsheet, which allows you to collect all your responses within a spreadsheet. Now, if you use a CRM, customer relationship management software, or maybe you want these answers to be sent to your email, then what you can do is use the tool Zapier to connect Google Forms with a CRM, rather than jumping back and forth into Google Forms to check your responses. So if you wanna learn how to use Zapier to connect Google Forms with a CRM, in this tutorial we connect Google Forms with HubSpot, then make sure you check out that tutorial. Okay, now what we wanna do is navigate over to settings and then navigate down to responses. Then under requires sign in, we want to turn this off. You can choose to limit to one response and we can also send responders a copy of their response. We're gonna turn that off for now and we're gonna leave everything else as default. Now, if we navigate back over to questions, then before we finish up and embed this form onto our website, there's a few more things that we wanna do. First, we need to identify this form. So when we embed it, we know we're using the right form. So go ahead and name your form. We're gonna call this contact us and then the name of the website. Now we can also navigate over to the color palette over here and we can customize the theme. We can come down and we can add a header. So for example, if I click choose an image, I can go ahead and upload an image for the header or I can use a theme. I'm simply gonna go ahead and use one of these themes. Because this is a restaurant website, I'm going to select food and dining. And I like the look of this header over here. Simply click on the header and come down and click insert. And as you can see, that's gonna add this image into the header. It's also going to take the theme colors from that image and change your entire theme color. Then we can navigate over to theme color and we can customize the color if we like. We can also customize the background color over here. And then we also have the option to change the font style. However, I'm happy with this form. So what we wanna do is navigate up to preview the form. And this is what your form will look like. Now we do not want this to appear, which means the visitor has to sign in with a Google account. So to remove this, what we're gonna do is head back to our form, then navigate back over to settings and navigate down to presentation, click here then scroll down and locate restrictions, disable autosave for all recipients. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Respondents will lose their progress if their browser is closed or refreshed. That's fine because this is not a quiz, this is just a contact form. Then what we're gonna do is navigate back up to preview to see what our form will look like. And as you can see, I'm happy with this form. Now what we're gonna do is embed this form back inside our contact page on our Google site. So to do that, head back to your Google site. And as you can see, we're back inside our Google site. You can see we're currently on the contact us page. Now, if we navigate down the right hand side and locate forms again, that should automatically generate the new form that you created inside Google Forms. If you cannot see it here, then double check that you didn't create your Google Form under a different Google account. And then simply navigate down your page and find the location where you wanna add your Google Form. Then simply click on your form, come down and click insert. And then what we can do is simply drag this form anywhere that we like. I'm going to drag this form and drop that below contact us here. Now what I'm actually gonna do is click here and go ahead and delete this section. And as you can see, we now have our contact form embedded on our contact page. Now what I'm gonna do is preview what this form will look like on our contact page by navigating up to preview. And if we navigate down the page, 
you can see the contact form over here. Now it's important to note that this will not appear when the website is live. This information over here. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill out this form to make sure that it's working correctly. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added that information in here. Then I'm going to click Submit. And as you can see, contact us, your response has been recorded. Now what I'm going to do is head back to my Google Form. And here we are within our Google Form. You can see that we have a notification, one next to responses. If we click here, you can see that we have one response down here. Now, if I navigate back to our Google Sites, I'll also show you a form that I created earlier for reservations. And if I navigate over to reservations and click dine in bookings, that's going to take us to this booking form I created earlier. As you can see, it's called reservations. Again, what I could have done is change the theme to match the website colors. Down here we have what day would you like to book? What time would you like to book? Then we have how many guests are dining. Please add your phone number down below and then submit. So this is a different kind of form that you can create to collect reservations. And as you can see guys, it's as simple as that to create and embed a form onto your Google site. And there we have it for this brief Google Sites and Google Form tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about the process of embedding Google Forms onto your Google Site, make sure you pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.